Hi everyone, it's Aboshan, and this is going to be the first episode of my RTA 101 series. In this series, I want to make RTA a little bit easier to understand and also approachable to people who may want to get into RTA or those who are in the final rank are trying to rank up a little bit and are not sure what kind of strategy they can do and what's going on in the higher meta because I'm in the middle part where I understand your struggle and I also dabble into high level rank RTA via commentating in tournaments. Oh, Lama's going for that Triana ban! And also fighting with people in G2 ish area. Turn anyways. Oh! Oh, what the hell is this, man? Oh! Where they teach me a lot about high level RTA. In this episode, we'll be talking about formulating your strategy and how to pick better. Through the entire video, I want you to remember this one phrase focus on roles and not units, okay? Remember that. Let's talk about the two most popular strategy in RTA. The first one being double stripper crowd control team. This is a very, very strong strategy because in a turn-based RPG game, if you can't take a turn, you are pretty much sitting up and you will get super, super frustrated. So what does a team for this strategy look like? You will definitely see two AOE stripper, two to three AOE crowd control unit. So, the Tiana team is definitely moving first. So it's a wheel rune and a vault, which is gonna get stunned by Gianna. So beautiful stun coming out from Gianna. If there's no AOE stripper, you will notice there will be multiple single target stripper. In a four man team, if three of them can strip single target, it will become an AOE strip after three of them move. Everybody, we're gonna monkey strip monkey. Monkey strip monkey. Boop, boop, boop. Uh huh. Lisa will strip this thing. Boop, boop. This thing will strip this thing. Boop, boop. And this thing will strip this thing. Done. <laughs> you will probably see Shiho, Oki, Hathor, followed by a Rika of a Rod. Shiho, Oki, Hathor will take out the wheel runes or the immunity put on by you. And then the last unit will provide that very strong crowd control to lock down the unit that was stripped. So to formulate this strategy, you want to look at your box and see what kind of strong unit you have in which roles. Are you having strong stripper like Tiana, Trident, Chiu, Praha, Juno? Or are you having strong crowd control unit like Oki, Gany, Hathor, Monkey, Charlotte, Rika, Virat? Depending on what you are lacking, I would recommend go to the collection box, go to search, and then you will start looking for unit that you may have or you may not have. For example, if you have Varad, Rika, Oki, Charlotte, that kind of thing, you want to start looking at remove beneficial effect on enemies. In this section, you want to look at whether they are AOE, are they single target, is the activation rate for the strip 100%, you want to take all of that into consideration. Is it a third skill, is it a second skill with a cooldown, is it a default attack? If you're not looking at the net 5, there's actually a lot of net 4 option that is not too bad. For example, Miyang can strip and also boost attack bar. This can make a huge difference for your team if you're losing in terms of speed in the first turn. She stripped 2 buff, increased attack bar of all allies by 15% per beneficial effect. Or Eager, who is gaining popularity because he not only strips single target but also deny the turn of the unit that he stripped by decreasing the enemy attack bar. Maybe you want to dabble into Chilling, who strips single target but also provide a team with a speed buff and in a crowd control team, having more turn frequently means lowering your cooldown and doing the crowd control more consistently. When you look at Shiklet, you see that, oh, this girl can strip armor break and increase cool time but it is not 100% activation rate. Are you willing to take the risk to strip into maybe nothing at all? So that's what you want to consider and look at all these and start thinking how do I fulfill the strip role without having Tiana, Trident, Praha or Chiwu, the top tier stripper. What if you have Chiwu, Tiana, Trident already? You don't care about removing beneficial effect anymore because you can do that very well. You want to look at stun, freeze, and sleep. Stun is a pretty crowded segment because it's a very popular debuff, but you can go down to sleep and it starts to narrow down 
to a certain group of unit that can be very very annoying to deal with like Rika, like Izaria, Hathor synergize really really well together if you have the net 5 you probably know but if you want to build a certain net 4 you're not sure which one can fulfill the CC role going in here and searching for them is actually pretty pretty good so crowd control is not only about getting Hathor they are just very consistent at doing it you can also try out many many other units that can fulfill that crowd control role next up we have a double immunity sustain strategy in the past Wusa and Vela used to be the two most popular picks that makes double immunity a pain in the ass but slowly we are seeing a much better variety in the double immunity double sustain strategy and this family makes this strategy much more approachable to people who are not fortunate to have net 5 immunity unit they provide immunity healing and cleansing in one skill Wusa can immunity and shield up Veladru can immunity and cleanse but Triana and Harmonia can immunity, cleanse, and healing. Harmonia is a bit more aggressive with the heal that can reduce the enemy HP as well. Meanwhile, Triana is more defensive with a skill that can save the ally without her taking a turn. Amelia is one of the best immunity units for RTA because she has immunity almost every turn. One of the most dangerous things about this unit is that, for example, a Gany can reset a Wusa and Veladru and be happy for a few turns but a violent proc from Amelia can immediately allow her to put up immunity and cleanse the entire team with her second skill due to the mechanic when you transform into human form you get another cooldown reduction so what immunity do you have you want to choose two of that whether it be Wusa Harmonia whether it be Triana Veraju but do pay attention when you pick things like Amelia and Veladru together you are not having any healing even though you are having double immunity the enemy will use raw damage to take you down they are not putting any debuff on you but a Perna and a Chow can do raw damage to take you down after a while you'll be dead without knowing it so when you pick double immunity do pay attention to the sustain aspect of your team sleeping the move on alright that's most yeah, this likely is it. a dead Molong. This just is gonna it. Kill it. Game point That's for Matsu. Chill. That's, That's it. it. Wow, freedom. And if there was ever a time to just bide your time and make sure there's no mistakes, it's now. Freedom's taken off his headset. He knows that he's lost. You are not killing enemy fast by protecting yourself with immunity. So do think about the long game when you pick double immunity unit. The next role that you want to fulfill in the immunity strategy is the threat. It can come in many many different forms. It can still be crowd control unit that can do damage. For example, Varad, Rika. It can also be pure damage unit like Perna, Chao, Theo, Desarion, Fangyan, Diana. And lastly, the fifth unit often bring utility to the team. It can be a healing unit, it can be another immunity unit, it can be another damage that do utility like Molong. It can be a crowd control unit that can sustain like John. It depends on the enemy unit at this point because things don't go according to your plan all the time. So when you have your double immunity, you have your double threat, the last utility unit will often be used to counter the enemy strategy. To this point, I have mentioned double stripper, double CC, double immunity, and double threat. You always need to remember enemy can ban any of your unit and if you are only bringing one unit that define your strategy and they ban it you are immediately at a loss before the match even begin for example if you're bringing in a crowd control team that only have one aoe stripper and the rest of your team are Varad, Rika, Charlotte, Tyrone things that don't have single target strip and you rely on your single trident Tiana to work, they ban it and they pick two immunity option to which you can only ban one. You'll be at a loss immediately because all your crowd control debuff now won't work because of the enemy immunity. It can be as simple as a Chloe to make your entire team useless. Same goes for the double immunity strategy. If you only pick one immunity unit and you don't have any form of wheel runes on your team, the enemy can pick two attack bar booster 
take the first turn and shut down your entire team immediately no matter how tanky you are because you lack the unit that combines everything together. At the end of the day, let's say you forget all of this, okay? Whatever strategy you want to bring in, whether it be relying on your immunity or first turn or strip or CC, make sure that if the enemy ban one unit, your entire strategy will not crumble because you are relying too much on one unit to work. Make sure you have two of something that define your strategy and don't be discouraged because you don't have top tier unit. You can always feel the role of CC, strip, immunity with lower rank unit. Oh, the most crazy immunity unit that I forgot to mention is this unit, Fran. Look at her. She bring two turn immunity, she bring a cleanse, and she bring a stun. In one unit, that is a lot and a lot of utility. Alright guys, I don't know if that was helpful. I hope that you learned something from this video. I'll be talking about counter picking and banning in the future as well as how to ruin your unit that works for RTA because you can't really translate guild battle or arena into RTA where you're fighting human and pick and ban and tamer and all that shit combined. It's very, very different. I hope that was helpful. If you like the video, if you have any comments, if you have any question, do let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear you guys. And yeah, hope you learned something. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you soon. Bye.